All right, I just saw that thread on Grabcat about creating a phone case and there was some terrible advice. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it properly. First thing you wanna do is you wanna use thicken offset. And you wanna change your selection to, um, or from solid to surface. And we're gonna create a surface model now. So your interface might look slightly different in older versions. This is Inventor 2021. What I'm gonna do is I wanna offset the button. I'm gonna choose these faces here. That guy over there. And I'm then gonna repeat that on this button here. Grab these edges. Right, and then we wanna get the button on the other side. Button's the only hard part, the rest of it's quite easy. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because these, this button is modeled all the way into the model and I don't really want to mess with it. So I'm just grabbing the outer shape effectively. If you do select something by accident, hold down control to deselect it. Right, so those are the faces I want. And I'm going to say, okay. So those are, you'll see are offset just 0.01 millimeters. So there's a bit of a gap. So that's the first part. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing again. So thicken offset. So we grab these faces here, automatic face chain. Let's say okay. And then we just need to get the last face. It's this one here. And again, we need it to be a surface and we'll say okay. I might have selected the wrong face there. Let's just fix that. Thicken offset will grab this face surface okay there we go it's gone orange so now if we turn off our solid bodies we can see all of our surfaces and it's starting to look like a phone cover so what I would do in this case is we need to do some patching so I'm just gonna use the patch tool to just go and fill in any details that we don't want so apply that one apply that one grab that hole there and the SIM card hole. Right, then all we need to do is fix the buttons. So the buttons have some holes in them. So we just want to add a patch between the two edges there. And once I'm done with the buttons, I just need to do a thicken on this surface. edge there we'll just fix that one uh, patch. that's better all right so now it's a case of um, probably easiest if I stitch all of this together so I'll grab all of the boundary patches that I've created and the offsets I'll apply that so now I've just got one surface stitch Now I've got one surface stitch and I just want to include that last offset. All right, so I've got one surface stitch, which means that I can now use thicken offset. I'm going to set this to using quilt. I'm going to click on that and we're going to make this one millimeter thick. So, okay. And like magic, it's going to create a, a solid for me at one millimeter thick. So if I turn my solid bodies back on, I've now got that thick in there. And one of the tricks was just to add it as a new, uh, a new solid, or its own solid, and it'll go. So I can now turn off that surface. I no longer need the surface bodies. And if I look at the solids, I've now got two solids. I've got the phone and I've got the case. So we can go to the case. Black. Okay. And we can then turn off the phone solid. And there's our final phone case. All done, nice and easy. And that's probably the best way to model a phone case. Hope that's useful.